have a beautiful livelihood. We call it the Western way of life. I've grown up in it. I have uncles that were ranchers. My grandfather was a rancher. And just to be a part of this industry has always been important for me. It made a large impact on my life. The first time I came to Stock Show, I was kind of blown away. The Stock Show here is one of the best in the world. The Stock Show has a long storied history with our international partners and for over a century coming here to see what's going on in the cattle space. We import export a lot of genetics. So there's a lot to learn education wise, camaraderie and just really building up that global beef and the larger ag community around. It's always a privilege to get to come out here to the Denver Stock Show, you know, the heritage that's behind this event, and then to, you know, be from Australia and to get to come and experience such an incredible event here in Denver. And one of the things that I love about it is the variety of different things that I get to be a part of. The ranching aspect of ag is such a vital component of the agricultural industry as a whole. It's been a great place for us to uh, get introduced to new customers and catch up with old ones. And whether it's on the hill or down in the yards, there's so many producers that you just get to meet. Great opportunity to showcase our genetics and uh, our cattle and compete against the best of the best down here. Education is such an important part of what the uh, Western Stock Show Association does. And one of the things we really like about Stock Show is the smiles on the faces of young people. I want to encourage our young people to get into it even more. And I want them to understand that the food just doesn't magically appear on the shelves in the grocery stores. It starts with hard work and hard working individuals. There's a, an entire whole different education outside of the classroom and I think I'm able to learn a lot from showing cattle even though I'm not at school. The youth is the next generation and so if, in order to build this industry and keep it alive and keep that passion there, you know, I think it's part of our job to feed back to our youth. This facility that you have brought to us, thank you. Yeah. It's first class. Yeah. Well, the new yards are state of the art. They're phenomenal, second to none for a cow show. There was a lot of planning, and that's what's so impressive. The loading and unloading process, and the facilities themselves, and the functionality of it. It's just a, a great facility. We love the facility, especially with the power. It's peaceful, it's quiet now. There's no generators going. The layout was great. The exercise pens were phenomenal. The new yards are beautiful. The warm water and the facilities, we've got lots of room. It was hard to let go of the old tradition, but we're having a good time building a new one. Ever since I was little, there were the old yards, but I think it's cool to see some new changes and upgrades. It's no accident the word agriculture is based on culture. We can build all the new buildings we want, but if we don't maintain the right culture of the people, you're not going to keep people coming and that culture of people wanting to be here with other stockmen again is more alive than ever this year in the yards at the National Western. All this exciting stuff, it's so electric and you could just feel it in the air. I mean, some great folks that had kept this thing going, it's just helping it grow. We're pretty excited to get down into that new facility. I think it's gonna bring everybody together into a more cohesive show barn and arena and will just allow both the hill and yards to be in the same place all about the exhibitors and then make it as user friendly as we possibly can. I think it's going to be a heck of a improvement for Denver and they'll have a lot of events and uh, it'll benefit the community and uh, us as cowboys and contestants. We say it's a people industry and not a cattle industry. It's the four-legged animals that unite us but really it's the cattle producers that come here. That's what we're here for. We're all putting this together to expand this even further into the future for everyone. And I think that's exactly what it's going to take to see it last another 100 years. It's great hearing these stories of third and fourth generations of families that continue to come here. And we're here to support your industry and your economic opportunities. So know that's the reason we do this every year. Everything we do needs to tell a story about the West. The more international and worldwide we can make it, the better. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. We just have to make the wheel solid so that it can continue to travel the many more miles that it needs to for the generations to come.